after the governors threatened to fire clinical officers on strike, some have started to find new ways of working without getting fired. NTV went to a hospital in Muranga and found the clinical officers at work. Still, many were in plain clothes to avoid detection. These officers were attending to patients and the hospital was crowded. There have also been reports that union representatives are removing their members from hospitals to avoid them attending to patients. Lili's and Jerumu Tinda reports on this story. If I had walked into this hospital with my camera and microphone, they probably would not have let me in and I would not have told you this story. But here I am. I walked into this hospital in Muranga County as a patient seeking treatment, wanting to tell the story of the sorry states of our hospitals as patients stay longer without receiving services. Shock on you. I came out with a bigger story than what I had gone looking for. I found out that clinical officers who are on strike along with the doctors are still on duty at this particular hospital. But because of the strike, they cannot work openly as they ordinarily would and they are devising new ways of attending to patients. Inside the male clinical consultation room, the man attending to the patients was in plain clothes and he had to disguise himself to not face the wrath of the union that represents him. He did not want to be a snitch. As a patient presenting with a bad stomach upset, I requested to see a medical officer, but I was told that my issue was not an emergency. One needed a written note from the clinical officers to go to the casualty where the doctors were. This story is likely replicated in several facilities where doctors and clinical officers threatened with sacking are working under certain circumstances. <laughs> On various occasions, the Council of Governors has indicated that clinical officers have individual contracts with the counties they work for and not with the national government. The Council of Governors has also threatened to sack doctors and clinical officers who will fail to report to work. For those who have refused to comply and have defied the court order, we will have no recourse other than to take action according to the Employment Act. But the doctors and clinical officers received a reprieve on Wednesday when the Labour Court ruled that they should not be victimised for skipping work as long as they treated patients appropriately. Lilis Njero Mutinda, NTV.